What up guys, today's pink day, see, pink lip balm, I, I, I don't know what it tastes like, it tastes like it's watermelon actually, so it's kind of weird that it's pink, pink hat, this is a little golfing stuff, somebody at, oh I just got home from school, this is actually my third take on this video because I just keep fucking it up, I keep going on and on about stuff and I keep spacing out, but I'm just tired, like I want to sleep, I know I woke up at one because I, I checked, I didn't know, because I heard the garage door opening. It's actually pretty loud if you're in the, not really loud, but you, you can hear it. If you're not like sound sound asleep, you can hear it from like the uh, the guest uh, bedroom. So. So I did wake up, it kind of startled me because I had kind of knocked out and I didn't know, I didn't know what time it was, I didn't know like, where I was or anything like that. Like I, I was like, the fuck am I? And um, I realized, oh yeah, I fell asleep right in the guest bedroom. So she picked up my daughter and they went to sleep. I don't know what time she actually went to sleep, but I had to sleep. So when I have to sleep, especially like for class, when it's like early, like today was kind of early. Um, kind of early because, just because the quiz, you have to be there on time. If you're not there on time, you're automatically, my hair is a mess, man. I didn't comb it last night, so I just threw on a cap, and that's why it looks like this. If you're not there on time, he automatically deducts 10 points, right? For just being late. Just for tests, not for like every single day. And as long as you're there every day when you're supposed to be there, uh, it's fine. But test, he doesn't. He doesn't mess around. It's 10 points off automatically. And if you if you miss it, even if you have a good excuse, it's still 10 points off. Um, I thought I heard him say something about 20 points off, but I think it's pretty much 10 points off. So that's why I try to make it on time, at least for those. The other days I don't care when there's no quiz or anything like that. I don't care. I'll show up whenever. Sometimes I'll show up like 10 minutes late, or one time I showed up like 10 minutes late, and the class is over, and I was like, uh, are we gonna have like the other class? Because it's back to back classes. It's on Monday, it's 9 to 10, and then I think it's 9 10 to 10 10, then it's 10 10 to 11 10. But he's like, no, that's it. And I was like, uh, did he count me absent? And then I went and I was like, hey, sir, did you guys do like attendance? And he's like, oh yeah, you're fine. But I don't know if I'm really fine because I don't know. I don't know how well his memory is, honestly. But I did pretty well in this test. I think everybody got 100. As long as you memorize that fucking all the abbreviations. It was really short. I did not know that we were, I thought we were going to have a soldering test today, but it turns out that we didn't. So I guess it's one of those things where if we took both of them today, then we're not going to have anything to do on Wednesday. So that's kind of why I got broken up that way. So I do have another test later on. I'm kind of not worried about it, but I kind of am. Um, just because I'm really tired, like I'm really out of it, guys. This is take three on this one video, and I'm really talking about nothing. Like, nothing really. Like, I, I had like all these things that I want to talk about. Like, somebody asked me, like, well, what do I do in, what did I do in the military, right? So... What I did in the military was I worked on helicopters, or like I fixed them. And it's kind of like, um, you know, you, there's like two sides to it. There's like the side that, it's eye level, the side that does, um, fixes the actual components, like equipment, like they actually fix them, because they're broken. And if they can't fix them, they send them in to uh, whoever makes them. Whoever we send them to, that's what they, really that's what they normally do. They get it and they kind of work on it and whoop, can't do it. So they just send it up. They work in these little fucking little uh, air conditioned trailers. Um, they don't really do anything, honestly. It's I guess they do, but they don't. Uh, it's like one of those jobs where you just like kind of like just sit around and just pat each other on their on the back of how great they are. Um, but whatever, they don't even work on helicopters. They don't even know where half that stuff is or what it, I'm sure they know what it does, but whatever. 
So I was on the O-line, so that means that I actually worked on helicopters. Like I was actually on them, I was actually in them, I actually flew in them. So if something was broken, it's electronic, they'd come to us and then we'd go and like try to figure out how it worked or not how it worked, how to fix it to make it work. And then uh, we'd get like different parts, we'd actually troubleshoot, we'd have to use a multimeter or like you know, we're checking for voltage, we're checking for resistance to make sure that the line's good, the wire, but most of the time it was like pretty easy to work on them. Sometimes it was a bitch and sometimes we had to get like uh, Sikorsky reps to come in and help fix it. But if it got that hard, that high up, um, like the lower guys, like, like me and everybody else, the younger guys, that's it, like we just didn't work on it anymore. It was like the older dudes that had a lot of experience and then like the rep would come down and they would go off and do it, right? Because it took a long time. Sometimes it just take like days and days just to fix something because it was, they tried everything and they're trying to like figure out what it is. So that's what I did, right? Um, it's not really like a grease monkey. I wasn't a mechanic because we did have grease monkeys. like. Me like mechanics, helicopter mechanics that like grease shit up and fucking change the oil and stuff like that. Um, remove the engine, inspect it and clean it and shit like that. We did have those guys, so they were the grease monkeys. We were more, we did get dirty and stuff sometimes, but for the most part it was a pretty easy job once you got to know what you're doing, which is kind of what I'm doing now. That's why, um, sort of why I chose it because it's somewhat relatable and I don't know, to, towards the end obviously I was a lot better than when I first got in the military and started working on helicopters, but I mean that's because of years of actually doing it, so I feel, I figured it's, it worked back then, I would probably be the same right now. So that's why I chose biomedical equipment technician and that's what I'm doing right now, guys. I'm really fucking tired. I should probably go back to sleep. I'll see if I can. Peace, guys.